All right, everyone. Welcome back to the Rubber Ducky Homestead. I, we had some big changes on the on the farm here recently. I got these big floodlights that are going to be whole ways down my road. They should help out with my workers in the fields whenever we start harvesting here today. And I put them around the silos too, so whenever we need to take the grain carts back there to to dump all the grain. Uh, we will be able to see what we're doing. Now, also what's new is instead of building another garage, I actually built a lean-to style open shed. Because uh, Old Blue needed a place to park now since the, the egg garage is full. And I actually pulled the new Holland out here. Because I use this tractor a lot for just running around the farm and doing chores. It's kind of like how the old truck is. Now, today, actually, we're going to drive down. We're going to take the new haul in here, the T5, because we might need it to move some equipment around. We might not, but it, I'd like to have a three-point hitch. Today's an exciting day because it's early spring. It's day one of early spring, I should say. So we need to get some, some food in the ground. I think we might do a corn harvest, or, or you know what, no, we're not going to do corn, we're actually going to do some wheat, we're going to do a huge wheat harvest, so we need to get the cedar out, which this tractor is really underpowered to be running a cedar of this scale. But I'd like to get it out before I get the cloths out. So we're going to connect to that. And we might be looking at the stars here. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, we're off the ground. So New Holland is outmatched. Yep, because we're full of barley, so we're actually going to switch that, switch that over to, you know, let's do soybean, so we'll be there for We're going to get out, we're going to get unattached, get the tractor back on the ground, and we're going to get out of here. So, strike one for the new hauling, being overpowered. We're just going to pull this out of the way here, and we're going to get the cloths, I forgot the cloths wasn't in here. It's been it's been a while since we've been in these barns. But open the doors. Get the tractor here. This probably should fire it up right away. Usually, uh, when these tractors sit for a while, they don't like to start. But I guess when you spend so much money on equipment, you're pretty all right. Oh, ran into the door. Good thing that's good American steel. Nah, that's actually probably aluminum. I don't know why you'd want something external with steel. Alright. Now the cloth is alright. Let's get a look at how this looks. Send the drone up. I got her up very good this time. Get, get some angles with the cedar if we're not hit by a car here. Now this might be one of the first times you've seen this tractor in action. Other than me just talking about it. Let's get back in the cab. I would like to put soybeans and fill what I believe this is 12. Or 13. I forget, I forget which field this is. We don't do much farming other than for the chickens. So... Make sure we save our content so none of it's lost for you. Yeah, field 13. So we're going to hop out, turn around, we're going to unfold. And this is a very, very large uh, cedar. This is one of the bigger ones you're going to see. And it works very well. We're going to turn on the sower. And we're going to lower it. 
And we're going to try and get squared up a little bit here. Fix my camera angle so I can actually see a little bit. Now one thing you gotta watch with these tractors is since they turn in the middle, they the tractors really like to um, turn and move move your implements all over the place. Wait a sec, do I have something in this field already? Let's make sure we don't. The last thing I had in there was barley. Oh, yep, it was harvested. Just making sure. I don't want to be wasting crop. But you can see the implement wants to always shift over. So we're going to do one row here. I'm missing a good bit. Eh, maybe not. Now, typically, I'll go over a little bit. But seeing how we can get this nice angle with the drone, might as well show off the ability, the reachability with the cedar. And you can see my light poles I put in. They look incredible. You should see them at night. They're super, super bright. Now what I'm doing now is putting a headland in so whenever my workers come, they don't run into my poles and run them over because you can't trust nobody. We're going to go there. We're going to go to the end. And we're going to lift. And you can see this thing turned like a top. It almost in place, kind of like how our skid steers turn. Now we're going to overlap a little bit just so I can just get enough. If you wanted to eliminate this, you can change your steer mode. I'm not overly worried about it because. Um, it really doesn't matter to me. I mean, the, the realism in it would be that you're going to have a turn like that, so I'm going to leave it like that. You can see that I'm getting a little far over, so if you're driving these tractors and you're struggling, you got to go a little bit to the right, just a tad like that, then back to the left. And kind of creep your way over. This tractor can turn like it is now, where it's like the whole thing moves. I shouldn't have demonstrated that, I should just set it. Or it can crab walk, which means it can pretty much drive sideways. But it's a really cool tractor, really nice to have on the farm here, and I use it. This is my quote unquote seating tractor. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna take a different approach to this here because I I know they're gonna get stuck on by my barn. So we'll do one pass here, and we'll go back and do another pass so then hopefully they stay away from my barn here to show off the turning radius of the cedar because that just saves you time because you don't need to turn it off every time that little bit in the grass ain't gonna hurt maybe I'll do three passes just to completely eliminate the risk of them damaging my stuff. I 
And as you see down in the bottom right corner, we're going about 11 miles per hour, which is actually a really good pace for for this type of work. And I missed, of course. Let me go back up and we'll fix this corner and hopefully you guys aren't getting sick watching. Maybe I don't want anyone getting motion sickness by watching Farm Simulator. And we're going to call it quits there. Alright, now I'm going to start my worker over here. On this side. So I want him to go a long ways up and down the field and making passes. Because the less turning the workers have to do, the more they're going to get done. So we're going to get over here. Get it kind of centered up for him. And we're going to hire a worker here. Well, I don't know why they did not complete their task. Alright, our worker's in the tractor and he is off. Planting soybeans. The first harvest of 2020, or the first crop of 2020. So, just to save time here, I'm just going to teleport down to my gloss here. I actually want to use this one since it's bigger. And we got to move the new hall because someone parked it in my way. I wonder if he did that. Probably because he just pushed it out of the way. Hope I didn't ruin my three point hitch by hooking up to the cedar. But it was worth a shot. I thought I could do it because I forgot that my old cedar I had had a dolly on it. So all the weight was on the dolly and all I was doing was applying or not applying but using the tractor to pull the cedar forward and stop the cedar from rolling uh, and this goes about 26 miles an hour on a good day so I'm going to just I don't want to pull this in front of the house here I want it in my way I'll just pull it to the bottom of the field here. It should be out of the way of my worker. Hop out. And we got some business to take care of other than farming. Carlo called me and said that he got some new cars in the showroom that I should look at. Now, we're not buying anything today, but we're just going to take a gander. So we're going to just take a ride down there quick. Our worker's on the way back now. He has enough seed. I left him at 94%, so he should be good until I come back. Oh, uh, make my way downtown. Driving reckless. Probably going to get a ticket. Alright, we're here. Old Blue's running pretty alright, a little bit rough. But Carlos said he might have a solution. Because he was explaining to me that he was getting into the car and truck business along with tractors. So, here, you know what? Oh, looks like he has a dolly or a dolly version of the original pickup truck here he has a he's carrying sports cars ooh a skark or skark 4x4 four four, like a raptor and it looks like an old here like uncle jesse dukes of hazard rodeo pickup truck might have to put an order in here see what i can uh see what I can get because I am in the market for a new truck I would like to get something that could handle my equipment trailers so I don't always throw on the tractors but 
You know what? Let's go for a test drive. I want to test drive this dually. And what color? Um, that's a pretty good looking one. Well, tell you what, there's some good options here for a truck. Got a bull bar, wheel and tire setup. That's like a semi look here. Standard tuning. Uh, I like the standard wheels. Yeah, the nice part is he, this is he kind of is doing a, like a make your own sandwiches, make your own truck. So I can do this, because he has all the colors in stock. It's just I wanted the bull bars in his wheels. So let's go take it for a test drive here. Take a quick look around. Oh, it has a regular ball hitch. Fifth wheel. That's interesting. I would really like to gooseneck, but I guess that'll do. Cause I wonder, I wonder if he has any gooseneck trailer. Ah, I don't need another trailer right now. Cause I have nothing to even pull it with. Yeah, this is definitely a nice interior. Kind of reminds me of Ford interiors. Hmm. Well, let's take it for a test drive. Sounds good. Now, I believe this is a gas engine truck. I didn't ask. I can't really tell. But I'm going to say it's a gas engine truck. We're going to take it up the road here. See what she's got. Give it the beans. Check out the inside. The inside's a little, little, little modern for my taste. I'll come up here to uh, Patterson. I was going to turn around the parking lot. Nothing coming in the mirror there. These mirrors are very usable. But. Oh, it's stuck in traffic. We'll just go around and hopefully not wreck. Because you can pass on double yellows, I think. Right? No, you can't. But it's alright. But it's a really, really, really nice truck. I'd like to have it, but uh, I don't really, don't really need it at the moment. I think I got all my bases covered. But let's just take a look around in here. Beautiful interior. Nice back seat. I wouldn't really ever use the back seat, but nice big mirrors. Nice rear view mirror. Needs adjusted though. But this really reminds me of a Ford interior. Just park it out front. I'll let his workers park it for me. But that fifth wheel might be a might put me in this truck. I could use my pintle hitches with this, so my equipment trailers will work. Um, he, he has a nice little step up, so you can see into the bed. Has seat and tie downs. Beacon so. When I am hauling on the road and trying to sell my eggs, I don't know. Old Blue might become Old Crimson here. This was a really, really good truck, though. There's a lot of miles on her. But, man, is that a nice truck. Now, just for, uh, just for giggles here, I want to see what... They're they got a new low boy in here. New fifth wheel here. That's for the semi. Yeah, it says Carlo has everything. If you need it, Carlo's got it. 
Man, he even has it to match my trail. It's like he knew. Let's see what it looks like. Man, that would be perfect. Look at that. Oh, man, we got to see what it looks like with the truck. This is crazy. Alright, well, let's back up. Control everything from the inside. Huh. Put the tailgate back up. Man, that pole's nice. It's like it doesn't even know it's back there. Super smooth. Alright, well let's see. Let's see what it what it looks like. With let's put old blue on the back. Oh. I always forget you got to wait until your ramps are the whole ways down before you can get out. Now, if old blue looks good up there. I might consider restoring old blue and start doing some car shows. Seems like Carlo only puts things in stock that he knows I'd be interested in. Because he always has them inside. He keeps his lot empty. But he always and always wants his competitors to know what he has here. Old blue might be a little long for this, huh? Well, let's give it, give it the beans. That's a nice size trailer. That'd be perfect for this. Nice fifth wheel. Ramps are a little short, but that's not too bad. You know, I'd, I'd probably only buy the truck and use the trailers I have because I think the trailers I have are about are a little bigger and they might run a lot smoother but put old blue back over here and I'll back the trailer up Carla told me to just pull it on the ramps when I'm done so I'll pull it over here off to the side I'm sure his workers are going to have to go and shine it up now I just got a text from my workers saying that they are done with that field. So we're going to have to rush back up there to see if they're, see if they did a good job or to see if they're stuck. But, yep, here's the underneath kind of showroom Carlo has. Right here, you got to go through those doors and you're in then. But man, that was a nice truck. That'd be something to consider. Put old blue in retirement. But let's rush back up there and see what's going on. Hey, old blue is a 1978, so she's been around the block a time or two. Definitely older than me. But, when you first start farming, you don't have a lot of money to, to joke around with. Alright, well this doesn't look good. Unless it's, wow, is it growing already? Or did they miss spots? Man, they missed a ton of spots. Alright, well, I think the issue here is they hit a snag. So let's go over here and uh, check it out. There's this area here, and maybe we'll just finish that up ourselves. And now we'll complete the seating portion. 
keep full blue out of the way so, so she don't get smashed with the with the cedar. So what's the issue here? Still got seeds, still got gas. Oh, I think I got confused because of the headlight. So we're going to lower it, we're going to turn it on. Get a better camera angle. And off we go. I do like planting soybeans though, early, especially for the deer population. Even though soybeans are more of a uh, winter crop, it's still nice to get them in the ground and have them. Because it is early spring. I mean, this is this would be the perfect time to plant corn. And I'm going to go over and fix the spots that he missed. Which is kind of weird that they missed that. the things with this game is how you approach the object so if you have a good approach we're pretty all right so we're just gonna sit here I'll go back around and fix that in a second do this row here then I will go back and do that little patch. Yeah, that, as you can see there, that's why it's tough with these tractors that are like this. It might be in my best interest in the future to invest in a tractor that isn't this type of style or start locking out the front end. Now, you might say that I shouldn't be driving over this, and you're probably right, but since I have the seater on behind me, I'm not too concerned about it since it's like I'm double seeding these areas. Because, yeah, my tires are going to push those seeds pretty far into the ground, but it's alright though, since I'm putting more seed on. <laughs> Excuse me, got the hiccups. But. That up. There we go. And we could boot scoot and boogie our way over this side. Should be good. Let her work or go. That's the nice part too about having those buddy seats and those tractors. Because just because you need to help your worker out, they don't have to get out of the tractor. They can stay in there while you're farming. So I'm gonna be interested to see what happens down here. See about to reset them. I really don't want to. I really wish he would just do it himself. 
but you know sometimes they don't always feel comfortable doing it or it's a little bit of a process and he's going way down over that hill why is he doing that why would he go always down there yeah we might have to talk to him about that I need the help right now so we can see the tire slip. So let's uh, let's go alongside them, get some footage of them working. See that cedar's getting filthy dirty. Oh my goodness. We probably need to have a cleaning day for all the equipment. But hey, it's part of farming. Look at old Blue here, she's all dirty too. But, yeah, we're going to let, let him do his thing here, and I'll see if I get any more text messages saying he needs help. And one of the parts, one of the things about owning a farm, I mean, this isn't a huge farm, but it's not tiny by any means. But you can't be afraid to ask for help and have people working for you. It's just because you know you can drive that tractor all over the place and do everything possibly even better than your workers, it's still nice to have some help. Now, I'm going to park this in here. And he should be just about done seeding. So, I think this is going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. And I will see you on the next one. So, please like, comment, subscribe. And if, let me know if you liked the video. If you didn't like it, you can tell me, but please be nice about it. Thank you.